You ready? Here's what we drug home from the junkyard. Right. I like the new lawn furniture. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Great, man. It's comfy, too. That's right. Looks great. So we got a pair of seats. A little tear there, but oh well. A little dirty, but they'll clean up. They're not torn. They're actually really comfortable. Yeah, they are. It's like the old 94 Chev. They're basically the same seat, just without the headrest. Uh, throw a cover over them when I put them in the 63. The only bad thing we're going to have to figure out is... Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard it run. Uh, but uh, yeah, the inboard side of the passenger side seat, the brackets lower, shorter, because that was where the transmission hub was. So we'll have to figure something out on that, because my floor is pretty flat here. I guess I do have a trans hump there. I don't know, it may work out. These will probably come out today. New tailgate for the Blazer. Let's do a quick comparison here. You see how mine are all cracked and split and coming apart and got lots of play and metal fatigue and rust and rot. This one here, it don't have that. You know, it's a little bent, but not bad. We'll pop the panels off. I'm going to see about putting a stiffener piece in there. Just another strip of metal to straight across there. The only bad that it has is right here. But, if you notice, I got the same damn tailgate over here. I can cut a chunk of patch out from this, because this tailgate is junk. I'm not keeping anything off this tailgate other than the badges and the trim and lovely kids. I was hoping there was the door had the uh, had the keys out there so I could snag the keys for that latch, but oh well. Do you have the keys for this one? No, I have to open it from the inside all the time. But you know the hinge got some surface rust on her, but it's not bad. Worst case scenario, I got two hinges over here I can use. Right. Oh. Grinder down. I got all the bolts, all the hardware. Uh, we did get there's Justin's Ford piece. He couldn't bring himself to pay for it because of the embarrassment of owning a Ford, so he made me pay for it with um, <laughs> it's got the four before turn signal and the brake and your high beam and your fastener seat belt and your other turn signal and your emissions. Yeah, on mine, everything over here, well, most of this inside is busted, and then like these three are missing. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be like all brand new. Got the uh, paint to lift it as well. It is bent in the corner here, but I can straighten that out, no problems. Or, I wonder what the one on, off of that one looks like. It's got uh, like a there rhino lining or whatever on it. Oh. So, it look Yeah. So, no, I think we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. I also picked up another set of turn signals for when I do the grill swap on the Blazer. I also grabbed, we could only get one, that's the top trim piece, figured, yeah, guy actually didn't charge me for that, so that was free, also grabbed the hardware for those, because I am missing a couple of bolts on that, and a couple more of these, these are the pieces that go in the center of the grill, these are actually in very nice shape, remember I had to go buy those from the junkyard for the 84. So I might just swap this one out, which is bent and tweaked. I also got the factory pieces here, so I might be able to swap those out and get the correct fit. So, yeah. All total, I think I spent about 110 bucks at the junkyard today. Not bad. Completely salvageable. Somebody already took the fuel injection emblem off. They took all the badges off of this one, except for the Chevrolet there. Probably not going to reuse this, so I'll use my new one. Although I may transfer that Chevrolet onto it. But I kind of like it without. I don't know, we'll see. How we'll much do you like badges? I do. I do. I don't know, we'll see. So, that's where we're at. Now we are hungry and thirsty and tired. So we're going to go get some lunch after we maybe see about cranking the 63 up. And I'm taking the seats out. We're doing it now? We're here right now. Okay. I guess I got work to do yet. So. Camera. Okay. Well, we'll do that as a separate video. So, 
seat removal on the 63 coming up. Stay tuned. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.